Hello and welcome back to another replay analysis. Today we are in 2021 looking at Thomas's gameplays from throughout the years and this game here is 2v2 match that I would say is damn near perfect. One of the most perfect 2v2 games I've ever seen Thomas play and we're going to look at it and see what he did right and what he did maybe did slightly wrong and how it shaped up so if you like this content please like comment subscribe and if you want your replay analyzed please go to my discord down below go to the coaching section and drop the replay there i'll make a whole youtube video just on your replay now without further ado let's get into the replay here now thomas played so well in this game i believe we're this is roughly a champ three lobby and just the just the level of play was very very good good patience here so far killing time for his teammate which is me by the way i'm the teammate <laughs> good challenges just getting good spots stealing that boost getting up to make a play very awkward here he did a good job though he could not tell what was going to happen lots of boosts Kind of wanted to go for this, but saw Spud was recovering well, and he also saw me behind Spud. So, very weird position. Definitely made the right choice, just playing slightly passively. I say this is probably the biggest mistake that happened all game was just misreading this hit off the wall. Came off way faster than he expected, and just could not quite get there. But technically, in this spot, he was first man, so it's kind of okay. Really didn't hurt much. Good so far. I would love to see him maybe pick up pennies instead of going all the way back for boost, but he recovered so quickly, it didn't really matter. Good patience on this dribble. Good, 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 good patience on defense here. This is a tough dribble, but he just stayed in a good shadow position and just kind of waited for the shot. That's all he could have done in that situation. Um, wasn't close enough to actually challenge this, so just sat back, had a good position, and let the ball come to him. See how he reads this. Good. Great touch. Great 50 on the other side. Very nice. And this was a very good, very, very interesting thing as well. So coming through, goes horizontally, and for a brief second there he saw me. But I think there was, must have been some communication. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There must have been some communication where I, I told him to go instead of me going. That's the only way I could think of that, because it looked like it was going to be a double commit, but something happened where they communicated and it didn't end up being one. But That was a very weird attempt at trying to hit that ball, but I think it didn't really matter. The guy didn't have any attack going, and I think if he did, Thomas is actually in a good spot to actually block that. Alright, good pressure so far here. Even with low boost, just being very aggressive in this ball hard. Now, I don't like this part. This is probably a mistake on Thomas's part here. We have him here. We have this whole play kind of converging onto the corner here, right? I'm coming this way. The ball is moving to the corner. It's probably going to actually bounce this way. We also have this opponent going here. So, realistically, Thomas should be getting this boost pad and then cutting up field either on this path getting these little boosts here here and maybe this mid boost or he should be taking this path getting this boost probably get this boost then maybe this boost and come circle around this part side of the field and kind of just get around this play and come because we know this play in general is probably going to come up this wall so getting up and around this would be a better choice We'll actually see Thomas flip straight into the corner, which is, I mean, very much less than ideal. Yep, so exactly, like I said, the play kind of comes out. Uh, but I had good control and ended up kind of covering from a little bit. Good patience here, good fake challenge. Not going to be able to really get anything from that. Now this play is perfection. This is one of the biggest changes we've seen from Thomas from his old videos and replays we've watched to this one. This ball is so juicy and so many plats and below are going to be 
challenging this ball immediately. They see that ball go up like that, and they are, bam, double jump aerial. I'm going to go get this ball. But you don't take a sec to realize where you are on the field. Thomas is as far on the orange half as you probably can be. Um, he's not even, I would say, like a quarter of the way out of the field. He's probably like, you know, one-tenth of the way into the, the orange side of the field. You know, it's he's very deep. This ball is not coming out very far or very fast at all. It's going to drop really quickly here. So what Thomas does, he just drives to it and then takes a power shot. No one was challenging that. If the opponents went for it, he would have seen it and they probably would have blasted it off the sidewall anyways and he would have had the same result. He would have had a nice, easy shot or, or clear onto the back wall. So amazing shot, amazing patience in reading that. That's such a critical thing, realizing when you should just get closer to the ball before aerialing. And I just get faked. I get faked to the Shadow Realm here. Look at this. Boom, I'm gone. You want to watch it from my perspective? Let's watch it from my perspective. Wow. Here I go. On my journey. Not, not even close to that ball. <laughs> not even close. So, game's back even. No big deal. Alright. Pretty neutral kickoff. Like the aggression here. Get up in their face. And good control. Didn't execute it perfectly, but just that slight touch off the si side wall and then getting on the side wall and getting off it right away to try and challenge the ball immediately. It's just so smooth. It's such good. Those are such good plays in uh, twos. All right, don't have boost. Good, good job, stalling time. Good recognition that I was going for that. And then this is just a not monster clear onto their back wall. Very, very dangerous. If Thomas was able to find more boost, he probably would have been even more threatening. But just good, just good way. Good to be around the ball, I say. He is just perfectly being a nuisance for the other team. Oh, again, I'm in I'm in the nether, or the, the shadow realm. All right. Good touch here. Good play out of the opponent's corner. Such a scary and dangerous spot to be in, in your opponent's corner. So being able to play it smart is so important. Good job, and almost scores this, which is just a good piece of control. Recognizing time to get out and let me go. Could have been a more efficient aerial, but uh, worked out, I think. Let's kind of go back and actually look at that. This definitely could have been more efficient. I think he thought it wasn't going to hit the ceiling. And then it hit the ceiling and went, oh shit, got to readjust. That happens. I don't think there's any fault with that. I still like the idea that he went for it. Low boost. Just, the, just his positioning at the moment, it was fine to go for that big boost. I know that's something I've harped on in the past with him, but so far his boost management has been pretty good, even though he has been favoring those big boosts. Good shot attempt. Just putting some really solid pressure on these guys. Good clear from Boltzmann there. Very safe position for this ball, and oh, just unfortunately went for this. I would say this is more my fault as the passer. Um, this is a very juicy ball to go for. And yes, Thomas needs to read that Boltzmann and Spud are both up immediately and not go for this, but that's... It's one of those passes where it looks so good that you have a hard time as a second man not going for that, you know? And then I just cannot get back in time to save the counterattack. It's hard to not be aggressive in that situation. It's just, it is such a good pass. It was pushed out to the middle, but... It is one of those poison passes, you know. It looks good, but in fact, it, you know, is not. Great, great clear. Just solid plays here. I mean, how many people are hitting this? Just rolled off the ceiling's corner, basically. Pops out, and he just perfectly bangs this, basically, all the way down the blue side of the field. If Spud wasn't deep there, he probably would have scored it. Good challenge here, and then this is just nasty. 
the, the double tap off that side wall. So, so good. You keep doing those things, Blue, Blue is going to have to really safe back deep and respect you on a lot of those shots. Unfortunate, this didn't go in. I think it wanted to. Did it bounce off the post again? No, no, it didn't. Very, very close shot, and then very highly aggressive play, but you also got to think about what the time is in this situation. There's under 30 seconds. You need a goal. If you're going to score a goal, you need to start thinking about scoring that goal now. When Thomas goes up for this play here, where is it? I think I passed it. But yes, good clear, good patience. Just letting the blue team kind of bring the ball to him and then just finishes it off with this amazing pass. But let's look here. His shadow defense is just incredible. Just gets into this situation, sees Boltzmann's going to clear it, but then, you know, just play patient. Get back behind it, clear it back upfield right in their face. Made one miss, played off the back wall hard, and that's just as easy as it gets, honestly. Clutch pass to tie it up, 2-2, two to two, and this game will go to overtime. Try to be aggressive there. Not a good shot for me. And now we're in overtime. I feel like whenever teams get into overtime, especially in twos, they play completely differently almost. That hyper-aggressiveness and everything can go away and become much more conservative, much more likely to throw possession away. Good challenge here. Very, very clutch that he gets this block, by the way. If he's not there, Boltzmann's putting that thing right up the middle of the field, and that is going to be dangerous, dangerous, dangerous for us here. Try to play it off this side. It's probably a risky side to go to, if we look at my perspective here. We know Spud and is going to the left side, and he's the closest to this ball. Trying to find a way maybe to play it the other way would be much better. But that is okay. Good touch, good challenge. Only have 21 boosts, so don't necessarily love this entire sequence. Probably went to jumped off the wall and boosted, because now you have zero boosts and you are like 100% going to go into their corner. Oh, jeez. You're 100% going to go into their goal, and then the. The pathing on Thomas is just not good here. You cannot follow this ball. There it is, my mouse. You cannot follow this ball up this way when you have solo boost. You need to find a way to path almost like this, right? There's one, two, and there's a hidden third boost here you can't see, but you got to have a pathing like this. You cannot barrel down this side and go straight for this boost in the corner. Because it's just, it's not practical whatsoever. You need to be able to get little boost pads and then protect the net. So, do not like this from Thomas. And now you're just following the ball. Like, I'm sure he's going to make a play here. No, see... He still wasn't in the play. If I missed that, he's not in the play at all. All right, let's see what this is. Nice shot. Great job do do uh, dodging this demo here. This demo could have been fatal. Whew, Boltzmann coming in. Let's look at that from his angle, too. This could have been deadly. Look at Boltzmann's camera settings, by the way. He is a mile away from his car. Holy shit. All right, let's see what he does on the defense. Good early challenge here. Do you guys throw those in a little bit? Kind of low boost. Falling into the net. Good 50 here by me. This is like the perfect pass for this situation. You gotta realize that your teammate is now in their net and is probably out of this play. A lot of players are just gonna bash this off the corner and it's actually gonna go middle and your opponents are gonna have really good counter attacks so let's just kind of draw that out a little bit 
a lot of players are going to hit this low right here and then try to bounce this straight out to the center. Whereas you're going to have a blue defender here, you have your blue defender here, they're just going to easily put that up the field. Where you should do instead is when you're trying to kill time, like, like I said in the last video, if you want to kill time, you keep the ball in the corner, you're going to play this up high. High so that it bounces parallel with the back wall. That's going to take a little bit more effort and time for them to draw up this wall and then clear it out middle, right? If you play this off low and it comes out low at all, that's an immediate dribble and it's going to be right down your throat on defense. So you got to be able to kill time and play this high. Even hitting a knot directly off the corner, like off the side part of the corner there like I did. Took time, Spud has to, you know, take a touch he probably didn't want to do. And then here comes our hero, our hero of the match. Flying in like a madman, gets this full boost, turns around, says, F this, hero challenges this shit, and then just a straight banger on the left side of the net. Great, great read. Let's watch it one more time. Good padding here. I'm not mad about the getting big boost in this situation because he's actually ro rotating back in a way that's protecting the net and the ball. So getting this big boost is actually keeps helps keep pressure better. And then sees Boltzmann's hesitance on this because I mean it's a tough like how, where are you supposed to how are you supposed to read this when you're in the net you know? And he just comes up and puts a ton of speed on that ball and ends up winning the game in overtime. So some things we've seen improve are just general speed and consistency with a lot of hits. A lot of hits that he had were very difficult uh, angles and scenarios that you ha hadn't seen yet in the other games, uh, but he per put them or uh, pulled them off perfectly. Like the one that I think that impressed me the most was when it was coming off the corner and then rolled off the ceiling and came out a little bit. Being able to adjust your car enough where you don't hit the ceiling yourself and then bang th that ball upfield with now touching the ceiling is just a phenomenal play and it's one that's overrated a lot of players are going to blast that off the ceiling this might be dropped straight down for a counter attack for your opponents so great consistency upgrades we've seen uh speed was a lot better and just working with your teammate was just a lot better so some big big improvements it makes sense why he's probably champ three almost gc in this video in this uh replay uh, but yeah, I think that's it. If you guys would like your replay analyzed, go to my Discord in the, the description below. Go to the ch coaching channel and drop your replay in there. Uh, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!